Okay, let's have, hello everyone. Let's have a look at today's question. It says, given the following two regression equation, the correlation of coefficient between x and y is. Beta dhyan se dekho. We will study about the theory of correlation coefficient. Dekho, correlation coefficient. It is a dual relationship. When we run regression, jabhi bhi hum regression run karte hain, we say y is either a function of x or x is a function of y. Ye regression mein hota hai. So, you know, either y is a function of x or x is a function of y. This is what correlation coefficient is about. But when we talk, uh, uh, sorry, this is what regression is about. This is what regression is about. But when we talk about correlation coefficient, it's a dual way relation. Matlab, jo y ka x ke saath correlation coefficient hoga, wahi x ka y ke saath correlation coefficient hoga. So what y has a correlation coefficient with x, x has exactly the same correlation coefficient with y. Thik hai? Same hai baat hai. Achha, think about this. Suppose I want to find out what this correlation coefficient will be. Or people write it with R square also. You know, R square uh, in two variable regression can be called correlation coefficient. Coefficient of determination ki baat abhi mein karungi. So when I talk about R square, right? When I talk about R square, this is basically nothing. But this is summation xi yi whole square upon Submission xi square, submission yi square. Thoda sa isko samjhenge ek bari pehle. Question is okay, but we should understand each concept. Dekho, r square batata hai ki dono kis ka jo relationship hai. Just if I say r square is 94%. This r square tells me that how much is one variable changing when the other variable is changing? Ye dono ka relationship hai. So when I say, you know, my rho, my correlation coefficient, when I talk about correlation between two variables, it's a dual relationship. Jo y ka x ke saath hoga, wahi x ka y ke saath hogi, and that is 94%. Matlab, jab ek variable change hoga, when one variable will change, the other will change by 94%. The other will vary with 94%. Actually, correlation coefficient ka ye matlab hota hai. Right? So, when I talk about correlation coefficient, bohat, bohat dhyan se samajna hai hume ki regression mein kaise use karte hai aur general terms mein kaise use karte hai. We have to try to understand that, right? So, when I talk about correlation coefficient in the general terms, it means that I am asking what is the relationship? What is that number which gives me the strength of the linear relation between two variables? Please write this down. So please write down correlation coefficient. This we represent in the row. Now we will be clear. So correlation coefficient is a number that calculates. It is calculating. the strength between two variables x and y aur ye kaun sa strength calculate karta hai ye jo strength calculate karta hai ye strength hota hai hamara linear strength linear relationship hi bata sakta hai cannot tell non linear relationships it can only focus on linear relationship so for example if I have y is equal to x square, my correlation coefficient will be 0. I can only estimate linear relationship between two variables. 
कोई दो वेरिएबल के बीच बिटवीन एनी टू वेरिएबल वॉट इज द स्ट्रेंथ वॉट इज द लीनियर रिलेशनशिप दैट आई हैव दैट इज को रिलेशन को एफिशियंट यूजली इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई रो इसको मेजर करने के देर आर वेरियस यू नो वी हैव समथिंग कॉल स्पेयरमेंट मेथड रैंक को रिलेशन मेथड एक्सेट्रा बट वेन वी टॉक अबाउट रिग्रेशन देन दिस आर स्कोर डेफिनेशन चेंजेस अ बेट so if i say y is equal to beta not plus beta 1 x1 and i say r square is 94% when i talk about this r square row ki jagah pe jab main ye r square use karti hu then this r square tells me how much variation in y is explained due to variation in x how much variation in y is explained due to variation in x now what what do we want to say jab is r square ka under root nikalta hai when we find the under root of this r square then that is equivalent to root so you know when i use the formula of r square and i find the under root of this this is my correlation coefficient actually ye correlation coefficient hai so correlation coefficient is a dual i hope this is making sense now it's a dual way relationship it tells me the linear strength between two variables x and y linear strength theek acha ek bari dekho so so rho ko ek the basic formula for rho is कोवेरियंस बिटवीन एक्स एंड वाई एक्स और वाई के बीच का कोवेरियंस निकालो कि एक से दूसरा कैसे चेंज हो रहा है हाउ इज वन अफेक्टिंग दिवाइडेड बाई वेरियंस ऑफ एक्स इन टू वेरियंस ऑफ वाई अंडर रूट वेन यू डू दिस यू गेट दिस रो ओके थिंक अबाउट दिस यही एक तरीके से ये कर रहे हैं वाई बिकॉज यू नो इफ आई गो अड and i want to change this these are in deviation form kya milega suppose main isko divide by n square karti hu in the numerator and denominator mein bhi i divided by n square ek bari n se yahan ek bari n se yahan i divided like this right so actually this part this part is nothing but this is covariance of xy whole squared kyunki because the covariance of xy this is summation xi yi by n so covariance of xy is summation xi yi by n right so so if i were to square the covariance of xy i am just squaring this so i get the numerator and this this is nothing but the variance of x because this is in the deviation format so it's summation xi by x bar whole square by n so this is the variance of x variance of y this is nothing but summation yi minus y bar whole square by n under root so when you when you find so let's just put one more step here under root of this so then you when you open this up you will get covariance x y by variance of x variance of y under root so you see i started from the formula of r square this is just for two variable regression three ki baat we are not right i started with the formula of r square and i was able to attain the formula of this rho okay we are clear with this much now let's focus again so so rho and r square under root is the same thing ek jagah pe once i just found out the so r square was this thing i found out the under root of r square that means i found out the value of r and it is equivalent to finding the value of rho we are clear with this now again focus on the formula of r square once so r square is summation xi yi upon summation xi square summation yi square but 
we have something here. See beta when y is regressed on x. When y, so, so look at this equation, the first equation. Here I am saying y is equal to 0 0.5 plus beta 1 x. Y is regressed on x. This is my slope. This is my slope. So when y is regressed on x, the slope that you get, that is that has the formula summation xi yi by summation xi squared. And when x is regressed on y, look at the next equation. When x is regressed on y, we will get x is equal to minus 10 plus beta 2 y. So when x is regressed on y, then the formula for slope, that is submission yi xi upon submission yi square. Okay, the numerator is the same. Denominator changes. So if I were to open this r square, can I say this as summation xi yi by summation xi square into summation xi yi by summation yi square? But this part, this is just beta yx. In, in our terms, it is beta 1. And this part is just beta 2. So I can say that r square is beta 1 into beta 2. So what will be r? Under root of beta 1 into beta 2. This is correlation coefficient. r is correlation coefficient. Tha. This is what we proved. That r, which is under root of this, gives you the same formula as that of correlation coefficient. And that r can be rewritten as the uh, root of the two, a product of the two slopes. So basically, my correlation coefficient is nothing but d. Do not mug up things. Ratta nahi lagana hai. We need to understand what is coming from where. So no need to mug up. Try to understand the formula for things and then do the question. Okay, thank you. We will meet tomorrow again.